Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two peppermint things. That's why I put them together. We have a peppermint theme today. Uh, these are the World Market brand Pink Peppermint Creams. And the Red Bird, which is a candy brand, uh, Peppermint Bark, the original recipe. So, the peppermint creams were $12.99 for the box at World Market. And these were $3.99, but I don't know where they came from. You don't know where that tag's from? Mm. Burlington? Burlington, yes. $3.99. We, uh, Burlington's not a place we shop. And uh, so we were in there looking for something else, which we found, uh, food. And uh, so uh, that's why Kevin wasn't too sure about that. So, okay. Not many places put tags on stuff anymore. No, but you know what? That is something that I like it and I dislike it. I really do, uh, I, I really like it more than I dislike it. That like when you go in Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they always, um, they always put stickers on things. And it's, it's helpful for me as someone who's doing these reviews for you because we always have to write up tags like this and stick the price on it. Um, the reason, um, and, and I love it for that. So we don't have to make a tag up for it. We know how much it costs. When I don't like it is there was something else we bought from Burlington and here's the ingredients which you know at the end of these videos I always put the nutritional information in the ingredients. They put their tag right over the top of and the they ingredients. they don't like to come off. No. So what I have, in the past I would have gotten goo gone and literally, and I do still sometimes do that, but some things, I think the last thing I got from Burlington that we reviewed I didn't even bother. It's like I just took the picture with it covered up completely. I, I figured it didn't matter. Um, okay, World Market Pink Peppermint Creams, Silky Soft Mint Cream Enrobed in Dark Chocolate. Uh, five servings in the container, three pieces are 120 calories. It's like little mini York Pepper Patties. Oh, but and the cream is pink. And it's pink. But that's exactly the same. Um, texture. The flavor is even very, very similar to a York. It's got that mm -hmm. cooling sensation. It's not quite as strong as a York from what I remember. It's a little mm -hmm. sweeter, but very, very similar. So there's um, two in each one. Yes, two pieces. Those, um, I think they're very, very, they're very delicious. Very good. And these would be nice if you took the whole box and put it in the freezer. Hmm. Um, I think they would be really, really good, uh, cold, um, very cold. I love the flavor. I love the creaminess mm -hmm. of it. The chocolate, it's very, very sweet. It is super sweet. The inside's like, like powdered sugar mixed with mint mm -hmm. you know, or something. It's very sweet. I think but, they're terrific. However, yeah. the price is what kills it. Yeah. You could buy a whole bag of your peppermint patty minis. Mm -hmm. They're almost the exact same size for probably three bucks. I think they have these out for. How much are these? These were thirteen bucks. That's crazy. They were twelve ninety nine. That's twelve ninety nine. Loopy. <laughs> they're good. They really they are, are good. They are really good, but they're not any better than the uh, York. No, they're they're not any better. They they are as good, no better though. And a York, honestly, a York is a little different because it. Uh, I think it's a little thinner, and I think the chocolate might be a little Maybe crisper. Maybe a little thinner, but not. I think much. the but I think the chocolate's a little crisper. No, I like the York. Yeah, it's it's very similar though. I mean, it's it's the differences are so small that it's not even worth talking about hardly <laughs> but i i love them i'm not saying they're bad. very good if you want to spend the money if you want to spend the money if you feel comfortable spending that then you go spend it yeah. if you think wow that's really high go buy a bag of york pepper yeah. and patties i think the reason people are buying these though during the holidays is to give away is to give away yeah i think it's a what do you call that when somebody has a host gift yeah. is that what you call it yeah or um, one of those, well, it wouldn't be a five dollar gift. I was like, say you could do a pass the present kind of gift, but that would be a no, because this is over ten dollars. Yeah. You couldn't. This it doesn't meet your five dollar range or your ten dollar range. This yeah. is more than that. Nobody would know that you paid that much for these, though. They're not going to think you paid that. They're not going to realize that they were that expensive. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, if you feel comfortable, that's fine. But nobody's going to realize you paid that. Uh, it's just it's too much money. Uh, these are the Red Bird. Now we've reviewed some Red Bird. Normally, 
They're in little balls like this, and they're individually wrapped candies. Peppermints. Um, well, and they, they got the flat. They got the flat ones too. They have all different flavors though, and I think we reviewed like a cotton candy flavor. Yeah. They sell all kinds of flavors at Dollar Tree, uh, but it's a really good brand. You see so, them a lot out at like Walmart and places like that at uh, Christmas time. They with the peppermints, candy candy. Okay. Ooh, these are huge pieces. Look. It broke them up pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's like they made it in one tray and it's broke it up and put it in the bag. <laughs> That's yeah. one piece. Look, look at this. Now, let me just say, yes, you can make this at home yourself. You could. And it is just as easy. This would be like, like I am not a, a big baker or cook or anything like that. This, I think, would be an awesome starting point if, if you've never made anything because it's so easy. Yeah, plus they make the chocolate. They didn't used to, you could, nowadays they make the chocolate where you can microwave it. Uh-huh, that almond bark, and, and they have chocolate uh, bark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put it in a microwave safe bowl, put it in the microwave, it's so easy. You could do this now, but I wanted to try this brand. Red Bird Handcrafted Candy Since 1890 Peppermint Bark, original recipe. Um, 150 calories for one ounce. You see, clearly you need to weigh it. The peppermint is not hard. Mm. It's not like that really hard, crunchy, hard candy. It's a very soft one. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I like that. And it's not too strong. It's a really nice flavor, too. I think it's delicious. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice candy cane flavor. Mm. And these are made by Piedmont Candy Company in Lexington, North Carolina. Um, these mints are those powdery soft mints that you eat. Not the little hard, uh, yes. like the, the red and white disc. These are the powdery. The soft ones. ones. The soft ones, yeah. Um, I would give those five out of five. They're very Love good. Those. I think they're absolutely I don't think it's the delicious. highest quality chocolate, but it's good chocolate. I think it's very good chocolate. It, um, and truly, you absolutely could do this yourself at home, <clears throat> but if you're gonna buy it, if you don't wanna go to the trouble, then this is delicious. Yeah, I and think. if you can find it for four bucks, it's a good deal. Yeah, but that's the thing, is I've never ever seen this anywhere else. No. Uh, like I said, we found it at Burlington, and if you didn't go through the, um, just Check like out. just like at Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, if you don't go through the checkout, you miss it all because they don't put it in the front and in the back with the food. It's in one place or the other, mm -hmm. so which is very uh, silly in my yeah. opinion. And um, it says the comparable price is four ninety nine. So that, so even if you get the regular stores, it's only a dollar more. It's I think it's worth five dollars. Absolutely, yeah. I think that is worth it. That not is worth, a great price point. Not worth thirteen dollars. Good, good flavor, but good. not worth the There's price. Not, there's not a thing wrong with these, and I would buy these if they were cheaper. Yeah, exactly. They're just too expensive. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Check the holes with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la.